Hello everybody. Um, as I posted on Facebook, I will be making a video about uh, limitations. I uh, use a twin flame to see your limitations and what do you have to begin with? Um, there's going to be a kind of like a destruction of the limitations once uh, you are a twin flame. You're going to feel the things that you need to do according to your awakened soul because it's a new power, it's a new thing. It's something that it's a deep inside of it. Uh, I see a lot of common of uh, fear uh, into the people to break the limitations to come out in the public as a twin flame. Uh, let me tell you that this is uh, the most honest uh, thing into it. And this is why the first thing I'm going to talk to you today is about uh, uh, breaking the limitations and so on. Uh, giving you a personal experience uh, of it as a twin flame that uh, while back when I came out and opened the twin flame, I broke that limitations. I became out in the public. As you see it, it's already been five years. Nothing really worst happened to me. So there is no fear of what uh, you should be doing as a twin flame. So a lot of the twin flames right now, they are in an age of uh, kind of like uh, the most of them, they are in an uh, age of 30s, 38, 39. Uh, looking at uh, the graphics on the YouTube, that the most of the people who are looking at them, watching the YouTube channel, they are like the age of 38. It's like 70% uh, out of it. They are feeling in that gay uh, age uh, between uh, 28 to 38. And that is about the 70% of the audience here on the YouTube. And but looking at into it, a lot of the people have for their limitations to cross that line and be a twin flame. And you need to break that limitations in you. Those limitations as a twin flame will help you now at the present moment it will help you to release this uh, uh, hold energy that you need to be released out there and also it will help you to get off of the shadow of the hiding uh, piece uh, you're gonna be stop being the secret agent you're gonna be living as a twin flame now into the society uh, that will help you to release the energies, to remove the old parts. Uh, to remove, I mean, you don't want to go forward with a lot of carrying a lot of luggage of everything with you. It's so important to you to break that limitations to say to the people, I'm a twin flame. Oh, what it is. I love somebody in the soul, my soul loves them. I have a connections with these people, with this person, and that's how it is. It's a love in the soul. It's much higher and it's make me who I am. If they want to be more interesting, you tell them go find information on the twin flame. Basically, love is composite of two bodies on the same soul. Aristotle say that you will go from there. You don't really have to explain so much. You just have to admit that who you are to your relative, to your kids. It doesn't involve a lot of um, pressure not to it. But facing that limitations as a public use of the Twin Flame, it will be helping you. It will be helping you because for the power of living the truth in the soul will begin and we're going to drop down to the power of living with your heart. And that's uh, going to be talking a little bit more but uh, when you're breaking those limitations in the soul, there's going to be a more new energy comes in, will help you to evolve. Because once you're helping you to evolve, you're going to be able to help the next uh, stage of Twin Flames, which is they coming in. About 20% of the people who are as a Twin Flame and watching my channel, they are between the age of 20 to 28. And it's very important what we are doing here and living our truth. It be as an example 
will impact those people coming after us. Those are going to be the people they are going to take that torch, that they are going to take that example out of us. And if we're not doing it, if we are hiding uh, on it, if we are leaving then, then we're not doing the right thing. First of all, not only for ourselves, but also for developing uh, uh, the part that the love, it's in the soul. The young people have to know more about this love and the soul that has been existed, but information has been hidden for uh, many, many, many years into it. And they can look at to us and they can have a, a very good example of what we are doing. So they will be able to do it, but also you will help them to do it as well so they can live their life as the way it should be into. Uh, another thing that uh, you're going to be facing uh, with those soul limitations is when the soul is going to tell you that you can achieve what you're supposed to achieve as by the destiny. You're going to be able to go ahead and do this. Don't worry about it. Keep on walking. The thing's going to be increased. The thing's going to be okay. The thing's going to be better. And you will feel what you need to do in life, how you need to change the things of uh, your life perspective. And now, when you are as a twin flame, you're going to be much, much better in life. Uh, personal experience ever since I came in into uh, the public as a twin flame, now I begin to kind of like a, a getting the fruit from the tree, which is when I open up to the public, uh, I kind of like to put the seed into it. Now that becomes like a beautiful tree. Now I can taste the fruits out of it because uh, the life is much, much better right now. Uh, the life is more uh, um, complete, uh, more peaceful. I don't have this uh, intensity like I was having like the intensity when I was like, you're a twin flame, you're a twin flame. You, you got to do this, you have to do that. Uh, oh my God, what is going on? There is... I need to get this, I need to get that. It's the, so much energy that it comes in, into the soul that you are going like one after another. It's like, oh my God, never finish game. I know some of you are laughing on it because that's what you guys are. Uh, yes, you can laugh on it. That's good. That's great. Uh, but you still have to walk into the journey. Uh, after the breaking down limitations of uh, going out in the public, uh, you will feel the weight goes off, uh, you will be much better when uh, you walk out in the street, you're going to be much uh, better feeling in general, that intensity between you and your twin flame is going to be balanced, uh, you're only going to feel them when they want to come in, you're not going to be asking anymore for a connection, or what are they doing now, what are they looking at now, how come they don't call me, and then, and then, and then, and now, with all the three-dimensional issues, you're going to be enjoying that part. I am enjoying it, the part right now. I enjoy it, the fruits of the connection. Uh, whatever she wants to come in into a 5D, great. If you're not, great. It's all good. But uh, right now, i getting to the point that uh, I'm talking to people much freely, much better for me doesn't matter who they are. For me, it doesn't matter if that's going to be the homeless person or that's going to be the CEO of the company. They are all the same. They have a soul. Now I understand these fruits inside of me. Now I understand that the soul limitations once they were fixed. Actually, it's often the limitations in the heart. The limitations in the heart, they're going to be I can't talk to this person, I can't forgive that person, I cannot uh, do with this, I cannot do with that. They're going to go away. Because now, the actions from your heart, uh, the actions of talking to other people, they're going to be much more higher. Uh, they're going to be from the soul, and you're not going to have issues like the issues you have before. If you don't fix the issues within the soul, inside of you, you won't be able to fix the issue within the heart. And um, now I understand that after these years, finally the fruit's coming off of it, and uh, I feel much confident when talk with people. It's uh, 
something that I enjoy right now, even though some people don't want to talk to me, that's their issue, not mine. This is why you see that famous quote, you know, God removes certain people from your life because they don't need to be with you in the future. It is what it is, uh, onto it, but inside of you, you're going to feel better with everybody. You talk to everybody. It doesn't matter of the age, doesn't matter of, of what the story is. Now you're practicing what you do as a red twin flame in the real life, in the real tank of it. Once you fix those both two issues, you're going to be much more complete. There's going to be no more stress inside of you because of the connection. There's going to be like, I didn't hide from nobody. I am what I am. Now of that part of I am that I am into it, it will affect the impact also in your physical presence in your physical life. And then you're going to find that those breaking those limitations within the soul, they're going to be helping you like uh, facing the limitations of the real world into. And you're going to find that the surprising parts inside that all of a sudden the things are going to happen to you and they're going to benefit you. And they're going to benefit you in a way that you cannot imagine. And for example, I had an issue with my previous car. Uh, I had a, a very nice Japanese made car. And what happened is this, I took the car to the dealership. There was an issue with the car. Uh, anytime when I step on it, when I have to pass someone on the highway, they drive too slow. There was a little smoke uh, goes inside of the cabin. I brought the car to the shop. They test it. They run it. They change the filters. It's like, uh, it should be okay. Um, I went to Italy, I come back from Italy, I drove the car back, was actually still doing it, the same thing. And for me it was like, okay, we'll see what uh, we are going to do about it. During that period though, uh, you all know as the twin flames, the numbers. The numbers comes in and appear for you. Today you see 777, tomorrow you see 444, the next day you see 555. And you know when you see those numbers, the energy is kind of like it comes in into you. And during those energy, you understand uh, the vibrations of this. But imagine that those kind of vibrations there to a specific car. The specific car appears right in front of you. It's Italian-made car. And you are like, okay, I've been driving on this road three years to work. I haven't seen that many brands of that Italian car. Now I pretty much see two a day. Uh, sometimes three and it's got to do something with it. When I went to Italy, I went out, I saw that particular car, the dealership. Mario was laughing at me, he's like, dear, we probably see two or three in Rome. When we there, we saw 12 of them and he's like, man, those cars, they follow you. You must be getting one. So, um, I was at the clinic. I had to go to the clinic and I see the dealership for that brand there. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go check that out. But I trust the universe. Let's see what is all that big deal about it. I went in, hello, how are you? I'm just looking information for the dealership. How guys you are as a dealership? What's going on? What's this? What's that? And they're like, what kind of car do you like? I'm like, well, I like this blue one. Let's take it for a test drive. Is that okay? We went out, we took the car, I'm like, okay, okay, I like it, I'll check out with my bank, see if they can approve me for a credit, and I can trade it in my current car. I went to my bank on the next day, and I applied for the loan, they give me a paper that they pre-approved me for the amount that I needed for it, I'm turning the car around, and here he is, the same brand of car sitting there. I'm okay, father, you're doing what you have to do, right? I went to the dealership, okay, let's go and work with the numbers. Uh, they called me up actually from my bank. They're like, well, sir, we cannot help you at this time. You didn't get to the underwriting. We can't give you the loan. I'm like, okay, fine. It's, it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. I told the dealership, they like, well, let's look at the numbers. I'm okay. I will be perfectly fine. I didn't have the pressures inside of me. Is this going to happen? To me, it was if it's meant to be, will be. 
I let the universe handle it. I let the things to be. Uh, the next day they call me DOV. We, you are approved. We got the numbers for you. Everything is okay. Uh, but for trading in your car, we give you an additional amount of money. I'm like, no, for my car, it should be that amount. I'll come in. Let's work it out the numbers. Uh, we worked that out the numbers. I know uh, my car payment went down for about like almost $50 into it a month. And I had an issue of later on to get the car insurance. Uh, currently, the car insurance that I have, they say they cannot insure the car. So I'm like, okay, well, we have to find someone to insure the car because my car insurance and my renter's insurance for the apartment, they were kind of like together. And uh, the whole story end up that I got a, a car insurance and a renter insurance, $50 and less monthly than that. So there was like $100 a month that came into my pocket just because I decided to follow the universe of what it does. And this is why is those limitations in the material world you will be facing into. The car that I got, it's considered exotic. Uh, it's considered expensive into it. I got the good deal in on it. But the part it is, is the limitations that were in the soul, they helped me to understand the whole process that now those limitations, since they're broken up, they're not there. I'm free to basically do what I need to do, but also it's preparing me for limitations that I need to face within the future. Things that are going to be on different levels, on a different ways. And if it things meant to be, I to understand they are meant to be, that will happen. If they are not meant to be, that won't happen. I don't have to force it. I don't have to push for it. I don't have to cry for it. They are going to happen naturally within the universe. And this is why I am making this video now for you. So look at inside of you. Look at your own limitations. Uh, look at it, your uh, relationship with the universe and mostly the relationship within your own soul. Coming out of as a twin flame, it's not a bad thing. It will help you. You will help the people after you. But also it's going to be helping you on you know, all levels as a whole as you. And it's going to help you to live uh, better within your life. Thank you so much for the video. I appreciate your comments below and you know what, be love.